opening hymn this morning is hymn number 542. Welcome everyone that's here in person and joining us online. Um, if you are watching online, please leave your name and maybe what town, state, or country you're watching from, and we will welcome you during our announcements. So our service will begin on page 355. And um, Hector, if you want to grab a program in the back, you can do that. Thank you. So nice to see you this morning, and Angelique. So blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, let us sing a song of praise. with you and also with you let us pray 
Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation, that we and the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. This morning we'll be saying portions of Psalm 62 found in your insert. We'll say it responsibly by whole verse. For God alone, my soul in silence waits. Truly, my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my safety and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in him always, people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales they are lighter than a breath, all of them together. Put no trust in extortion. In robbery, take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it. The power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to his deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 7, 29 through 31. I mean, brothers and sisters, the appointed time has grown short. From now on, let even those who have wives be as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing, and those who who buy as though they had no possessions, and those who deal with the world as though they had no dealings with it. For the present form of this world is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now after John the Baptist was arrested, 
Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please be seated. You know, when I came in this morning, it was 42 degrees in the church, and I think it's in the 60s now. Meg, maybe you can bump it up even more, a few more degrees. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you fish for people. In an article on how to be redemptive, a redemptive person by Joseph Aldrich, he wrote, there are word associations we could make with the concept of evangelism. For some people, evangelism is a evangelical mugging mission where we go into a phone booth, come out with a big rest on our chests and charge out into the neighborhood and win it for Christ. For others, it's some kind of eva evangelical ambush where we lure the honest and unsuspecting victim to some type of an event. We lock the doors and we sing 22 verses of just as I am. Some people think of evangelism as a bombing mission where from a protective cloud cover at 30,000 feet, we fill backyards with gospel bombs. And for others, evangelism is herding fish into a stained glass aquarium where big fishermen throw a lure from the pulpit. Now, fishing was the most common occupation for people residing in the small villages of Capernaum and Bethsaida. Living on the shores of Galilee with its abundant supply of fish, people understood fishing very well. Jesus used the metaphor when he told the disciples that they were to fish for people. And a mission of the first disciples, the early church, and for us today. Four of our saints now in heaven, Shelton, my dad, Roy and Corey, new experienced fishermen make a distinction between fishing and catching. Some fishermen spend a whole lot of time fishing for fish, but not much time catching them. God uses disciples to gather people for Christ. This is the first thing that Jesus said to his disciples, and this statement about fishing set the tone for the rest of his ministry. Last week, we heard the same theme in the Gospel of John, where the disciples asked their families and friends to come and see Jesus. Now we have fish for people for Jesus. We're called to be evangelists, fisher of people. We're called to be disciples to others to come and see Jesus. Now we need to speak to other people about our experience of having been caught and gathered by Jesus or having some seen the goodness and greatness of the love of God in Jesus. Now many churches talk about fishing but never really get around to fishing. Inviting people to see and know the presence and the power of Jesus Christ. Now, as Christians, 
we aren't automatically evangelists or fishermen. Remember, it took Jesus up to three years to teach his disciples to become evangelists. We too need to be in the process of becoming fishermen for Christ and witness for the gospel. We know that he calls us personally. And we heard how he walked up to those boats and called those four men personally. Other boats were anchored in the Sea of Galilee that morning, but he called four specific people in those two specific boats. He called them personally. So it is with us. The call of the Lord is an intensely personal matter. He calls us individually. Peter and Andrew were casting their net. John and James were mending theirs. His call to them fits perfectly with their personalities. Because Peter and Andrew were always casting the gospel net. They were either preaching sermons or were bringing people to Jesus. They were casting that net. They were busy with evangelism. On the other hand, James and John spent time mending the gospel net to ensure that the fish didn't get away. Their main emphasis to be, seemed to be on the development and growth of the church and the body of Christ. Now, as we grow as a church, we see the need for both of these ministries. The Lord designed and gifted each one of us individually for a specific purpose. He will take us with our strengths and our weaknesses, and he will use us to do his work. Not all of us have the same gifts, but God has a place for each of us in his service. When Jesus came by on that day, the call was felt in the hearts of the four men who left everything to follow him. Their hearts were touched, and they felt a strange power drawing them to follow Jesus. You'll notice that neither Zebedee or any other fisherman received that call. I believe the Lord had been dealing with those hearts in the men since they had first met him. That explains why they reacted so instantly when he called them. I wonder, what is the Lord saying in our hearts today? Is he calling us to some type of service? Jesus promised to take them as they were and make them into what he wanted them to become. He changed each of the disciples and used them in powerful ways for the glory of God. And Jesus allowed them to become something new and something they've never attended to do. And I can tell you, I never intended to be a priest. If anything, I thought Meg would have been the priest. You know, you know, who knew a few years ago he would take me where I was and make me what he wanted me to become? I was happy. I was very happy serving as the bishop's warden for St. Matthias. But God saw something in me, and I received the call to do more in serving him. Many of you witnessed my journey, and I'm here to help you on your journey. Just let me know that you're ready. And a question that we can ask ourselves is, what is our purpose? No matter what point we are in our lives, what is our purpose? Now, I am so happy that Joanne heard the call and found her purpose as St. Matthias's first lay chaplain. We see the church as the world's largest fishing fleet. Many churches today wonder why their pews are empty, or, uh, and they really can't understand um, that they've probably forgot how to fish. 
I know it's only when we begin fishing that we can really understand the joy of seeing others follow Jesus and becoming better fishers for people. Now, it's natural for some people to be nervous, yet others are filled with anticipation of a great catch. All followers of Christ need to get their net wet before they can really understand what it means to fish for people. Learn to enjoy sharing your story. Next, we need to go where the fish are. The reason many fishermen have an empty net or an empty hook means they don't go where the fish are. Begin to think about where the people are in our community. I know one number one spot is probably Walmart. Everyone seems to go there. Too many people try to fish by sitting in the boat or on the shore and expect the fish to come to them. It just doesn't work that way. We have to go to the fish. We have to go where the people are. We need that perseverance. Fishermen go from place to place until the fish are found. And God wants people who won't give up when things get rough. We need to find out what interests other people and use that as a means of encouraging them to come and see. We must, people, we must meet people with their needs, which could be as simple as showing a loving kindness or extending friendship. To be someone who really cares. It's taking that time to build a new relationship or to deepen a relationship with those that God has placed in our lives. Jesus called his disciples to follow him and to go and fish. We're quick to hear the first part, to follow him. But not the second, go fish. God calls the unlikely and says, follow me and I will make you fishers of people. Discipleship involves taking a leap of faith into the unknown while at the same time trusting Jesus to lead us to the right destination. And Jesus took the strengths and weaknesses of those first disciples and taught them how to be servants working in his power. He does the same thing for you and me. He takes our strengths and weaknesses and uses them to do his work in our world. In an article by John Elaine of Port Allen, Louisiana, he wrote, as Christians were to cast repeatedly our nets into the world and expect a catch, our nets will be varied because it takes different kinds of baits to catch different fish. We can't always use the same methods of catching fish that have always worked. If worms aren't doing the trick, use crickets. God didn't call us to just wet a line. He called us to catch people. And we must do whatever it takes to catch, to reach those people because the devil and the world sure do. Consider this. We fish for people to save people. In a sense, we're, we're really catch and release fishermen. The devil uses or fishes for people to fry them, to condemn them for all eternity. We catch them so that God can release them from sin and bondage. Are you ready to do some fishing? We have a pole, but it needs more. We need a reel. Are you that reel? We need the fishing line. We need the hook, we need bait, we need someone to cast it. Let Jesus, or just let's let Jesus 
show us where the people are and expect a great catch. Come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. Amen. So let us stand and affirm our faith through the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come. Amen. <coughs> Prayers of the people. Form 6 can be found on page 392 in the Book of Common Prayer. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all the people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, friends and neighbors, neighbors, and for those who are alone, for the community, the nation, and the world, for all, for all who, who work, work for, for justice, freedom, freedom and, and peace, for the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, hunger fear, fear, injustice, injustice and, and oppression. oppression. For all those who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For, for those, those who minister, minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For, for all, all who, who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop, and David, our bishop, Dexter, our priest, and for all bishops and other ministers. For all who serve, serve God, God in his, his church. church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. We pray for the unity of the Anglican Communion and the Episcopal Church, the Anglican Cycle of Prayer, the Church of South India, Diocesan Cycle of Prayer, Give thanks for St. Peter's Rockport and St. Margaret's in San Antonio. Bishop David, Priest Dexter, Diocese and Seminarians, President Joe, Governor Greg. We especially pray for the st strength and healing for Joanne, Rob, Roberta, O.T., Allison, Cherie, Mike, Eric, Hector, Angelique, Lacey, Bob, Robert, Sandra, Kim, Kaylin, Paula, Balin, Brooke, Carol, Pat, Amanda, Doug, Steve, Alexandria, 
Walter's family, <clears throat> for those who have died, Corey, military prayer list, Haley, and Victoria, for pers persecuted Christians everywhere, for our outreach ministries, Divine Food Pantry, Third Street Co Closet, Military Ministry, Mission Divine, and World Missions. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings in this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all, the, for all who those have died, and they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. Let us take a moment so you can add your own prayers and intercessions. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done, by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Good job. Thank you. Yes. He pushed you. He, he's you. the one. He, he was. We can hang you up Peace now. Peace the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it? You saw it? <laughs> <laughs> I pulled it up. All right. Peace. Did you sit on it? No, but I got up to do the, um, the, go the gospel. Yeah. Something really hard. I was like, what is in my pocket that I, what is, what is this? Peace. Peace of Lord. Nice to see you. I think we know our bait. <laughs> oh, peace of the Lord, Angelique. So glad you could come. Guess we need Allison and John just to go around town with Jameson and yeah. you know we'll get people. Yeah, okay. So I'd like to welcome everyone that is here in person as well as joining us online. We do have Pat in New York. 
We have Javier in San Antonio. We have Joe and Karen in Westlaco. We have Stacy, Steve and Amber in Greendale. We have Kim Granger in Indiana. We have Rob in Lacoste. We have Doc in Hondo. We have Susan in San Antonio. And for those of you that are um, we'll, are a little bit, a few minutes behind, or be watching this evening or tomorrow. Welcome. I only have a, a few announcements. Um, first of all, with the Corey passing this past week, we are going to. It was a real shock to Saint Matthias. He's our fourth prisoner in in just over 12 months. So um, we are going. There's going to be a viewing for family from. Or for, um, for visitors from 5 to 8 at the Primrose Funeral Home. And then Thursday at 10 o'clock, we will have a celebration of life for Corey. And then we will immediately be proceeding to the Evergreen Cemetery where he'll be interred. So if you can make it, um, please, please join us. Okay. Let's see, we also... Uh, next Sunday will be our Lotteria experiment. Saturday. Saturday. Saturday will be our Lotteria experiment. So we've been talking it up for the last couple of weeks. I know Karen's going to show us what to do, but it should be a lot of fun. And so Saturday at 2 o'clock in the parish hall will be Lotteria. We're going to experiment with our... Um, people of St. Matthias, before we open it up to the community, just to make sure we know what we're doing. Okay. Bring, some Bring friends, yes. So we also, <coughs> I guess we might be able to do it on Zoom, maybe for Pat, if she wants to, to do it. Okay. So um, let's see. In fact, if you are interested in doing it online, let us know and we will send you a Zoom invite. So let's see how many people we can have doing Lotteria online. Today after the service, Meg did make ooey gooey chocolate cheesecake brownies and lemon, no, orange zucchini bread. Okay, so welcome to have that. I, today also is our noisy offering. So <laughs> um, any loose change you have, that goes to our outreach ministries. So walk in love as Christ loved us and gave of himself an offering and sacrifice to God. Our offertory hymn today is hymn number 440.
Our service be continues on page 361. And the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Because in the mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts to give the knowledge of our glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. <laughs> On the night that he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with the spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. <laughs> Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our closing hymn this morning is hymn number 535.
go in peace. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.